Well, hello and good day. Of this video is finding you in good health and good spirits. I'm having a pretty good day myself. My question for the cards today is, does Donald Trump know that he's yesterday's news? Like, he's stale. He's not holding the electorate's attention anymore. He no longer can even shock because everybody's just baked into the fact that he's basically this rambling, crazy old man. And other than his key base, the rest of America is just turning their back. I mean, I just, I just read a report today where the boomers, right? A little bit older than me, but not by much, not by much. But those Americans 65 and older are breaking away from Trump and going for Harris. And I mean, it's the elderly, the older people that are the ones that have carried the Republican Party for all these years. But even in the age group, you know, 70 plus, they're starting to see a, a switch from Trump to Harris. Now, it's not huge. I think this is the Emerson College poll. Something like 51% are breaking for Harris and 48% are still in Donald Trump's thing. But this is down. This is down. And he's, he's lost the women's vote. He's lost the youth vote. He's now losing the elderly. The seniors are leaving him. Is he getting the message? Is this starting to finally sink into him that he is losing? Um, that people aren't buying what he's selling? And that, you know, the American people goes back to what, what was it, Abraham Lincoln said? You can feel fool some of the people all the time and all the people some of the time. You can't fool all the people all the time. Well, yeah. Welcome to reality, Donald Trump, because uh, you got a date with destiny there. And you ain't going to see the inside of the Oval Office anytime soon. What can I tell you? But that's, that's the question for the cards. Is this starting to sink in? In some respects, I'm a little bit worried about it because I think given his clear psychopathology, right? Like, I'm not a psychiatrist and I'm not an expert on mental health, but this man, you know, narcissistic psychopath, oh, he's got that damn date. I mean, you just have to look at the definition of what this malignant narcissism is and, you know, he's got it in spades. And people in America are waking up. Now, we did a reading of a couple of weeks ago now. I'll link it and wherever it gets linked up here. But basically, was the shine coming off of Trumpism? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we got. Now, it's still going. And there ain't no wax on this thing. It ain't getting polished. It ain't getting buffed. It's getting in worse shape than it was. Deck we're using today is the Chavano Chornay Pentagram Publishing. As usual, you know, I love my little Ukrainian decks. Particulars on the deck will be in the show notes below. And once again, just as a reminder, if you haven't already subscribed, it would be very helpful to, to me and to this channel if you would do so. Hit the like button. That lets the algorithm know that people are interested in this kind of topic. It also lets me know that you would like to see more topics along this line. And so when I'm going down to come up with next week's schedule, I take that into account. In the comment section, by all means, use them. I'd love to hear from you guys. Absolutely love to hear from you. So just doing our standard Celtic cross. Here we go. And... I don't know how many times I've done a reading in Donald Trump lately. I don't publish them all, but yeah, I do a lot of them. Signifier. Ace of Swords in a reverse position. Holy cow, here we go. Overthinking. Confusion. Oh, and he is. He is poor lamb. And irrational. And then we're watching in real time his descent into irrationality. His, his cognitive, whether it's dementia or whatever the, you know, medical term would be 
I mean, I don't have that kind of knowledge that I could finesse down to the thing, but he certainly has some sort of cognitive impairment and we're seeing more and more of it. The aphasia, uh, the non sequiturs, the just, you can tell even when he's reading off the teleprompter that he's not really there. It's just, I mean, it is sad. And I really try not to make fun of him, like to mock him. I, I really, because Deep down inside, although I have no use for him as a politician, I think he's a danger to the United States. I think he's the worst president the United States has ever had. But at the bottom of the day, he is still a human being and suffers like all the rest of us. And I try to keep that uppermost in my mind because that's the decent thing to do. And this Ace of Swords is crossed by... The Queen of Wands in a reverse position. Love the Queen of Wands, but when she's reversed, she's talking about not having any self-confidence. Well, no narcissist does. They can't, right? They have no belief in themselves. And that's why they all have to pump themselves up with this grandiosity. That's why, you know, his absolute tasteless decor, everything's got to be gold-plated and all that sort of stuff. This is somebody who is trying to make up for what he lacks inside. In the past, this reading, we have the Two of Pentacles. And this is juggling, juggling, juggling. And he has been juggling his entire life. I mean, that's what a con man does. That's what a grifter is doing, right? He is trying to play off people's expectations and their hopes and their dreams in order to seduce them into giving him money. And I mean, he, he it's a litany, an absolute litany of what he has burnt through in the past several years decades in New York City. I guess he's very upset about the governor of New York's speech at the DNC, where she just kind of listed off what everything that New Yorkers have had to put up with him in the 78 years that he's lived there, right? It's like, thank God he's gone to Florida. Sorry, Florida, we inflicted that on you, but you know. And I guess understanding from the reporting is that he's very upset about how mean she was to him. In the future, we have the Temperance card, and it is in a reverse position. For anybody who's hoping that perhaps, you know, this is a temporary blip, and then he's going to come out of it, Temperance card in reverse says, otherwise. This is card about imbalance and things that are in excess. It's about disharmony. It's about discord. And we're seeing it starting to break up. I mean, the number of friggin' Republicans, and I mean like brand name Republicans that have trotted across that stage at the DNC to announce to the entire world that Donald Trump is not fit to be president of the United States is just absolute. I mean, it ought to be embarrassment. If he was capable of being embarrassed, he would be. Now... In the sky of the reading, this is kind of the overarching energy of the reading, we have the Two of Cups. And this is talking about partnerships and people coming together, contracts and deals and that sort of stuff. And, you know, that's the ambition here. He wants to have another contract with America. He wants to renew his position. He wants to be let back into the fold. We'll see. We'll see. But foundation on this reading. Foundation of the card is the hanged man in a reverse position. Hanged man, this is about stagnation and delays. It's about indecision. It's about a fear of letting go. And he is so afraid. Because if he loses the trappings of his aristocratic pretenses, where he tries to pretend that he is to the manner born and that he kind of has all this cachet. If he has to let go of that, I mean, this is what we talk about when we talk about narcissistic collapse. This, I mean, again, I, I, I'm talking seriously. We are talking about somebody 
who I quite frankly believe to the bottom of my soul is in a very bad place mentally and we could see it deteriorate much farther and this is going to be an extraordinarily painful, anguishing, anguishing experience for him when it comes. I mean, I don't wish that on anybody. Not even Donald Trump. Message from Spirit. Strength card. In a reverse position. This is a card about self-doubt and cowardice. Well, we know he's a coward. Five men went and served in Vietnam because Cadet Bone Spurs had money and connections to get a doctor to write him a note while other men went to war. He's a coward. And that's why he can't look any of those veterans in the face. And that's why he felt that he had the right, or he actually had an obligation, he had to do it, to denigrate Senator McCain's you know, wartime injuries and his record as a prisoner of war in Vietnam for five years. That's why he had to put it down because, because he couldn't possibly ever, ever do what John McCain had done for his country. I mean, if you're not familiar with the story, John McCain had been captured by the North Vietnamese, spent a year in a POW camp, was tortured. That's why John McCain couldn't raise his arms you know, right up until his death. He had an opportunity to be released from the POW camp because his father was a bigwig and they were willing to do a prisoner exchange. And John McCain refused to go until the other men that were imprisoned with him were released as well. And he served another four years in a POW camp. You imagine someone like Donald Trump ever having the moral courage and the the backbone to pull something off like that? No. The strength card, that's about strength of character. And Donald Trump has been showing for 60 years that he has none. Now, what's in the environment around him? Of course, this is the card that talks about you know, what people around him are talking about, kind of what the buzz is. Yeah. yeah, death card. Death card. This is a card that's about change, endings, new beginnings, there's transformation, renewal, renewal of the American spirit. And the problem with the death card is it is a card that's about inevitability, right? It's going to happen. This is like, this is like karma in many respects. Karma is, you know, but the consequences, your action following you. It's got nothing to do with, you know, balances and wheels and all that sort of stuff. Karma is a very, karma is a very actually brutal philosophy. It's about actions have consequences and you can't escape the consequences of your actions. It's coming. It's coming. Well, we've seen this one before many, 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 many times. Knight of Swords in a reverse position. Now, I really thought, I mean, I pulled this card way back when, uh, probably about two months ago, something like that. Knight of Swords in a reverse position. That's what I'm talking about, the one I keep having nightmares about. This is card that's about bullying. Well, Donald Trump's a bully. And it's about laziness, and yeah, he's lazy. Can't be bothered to do anything right now. I can't even friggin' bother to campaign. It's about inaction. It's about having a lack of focus. But it's also a warning card, and it is about the coming storm. Now, I had originally thought that the coming storm was the assassination attempt back in the mid July, 13th or 14th. I really thought that that was it. But the Knight of Swords in reverse position still keeps showing up for this guy. So the universe ain't done with him yet. Karma Train. Karma Train is still chugging along the tracks. That's all I gotta say. Final outcome. We've seen this final outcome for Donald Trump previously too. We have the tower. And this is a card about chaos and calamity. It's about disaster. It's about revolution. It's about destruction. 
It's about disruption. It's about the unexpected happening and a great awakening. Yeah. The mega cult, I'm sure the very hardcore members are not going to get it. But those that are mega adjacent, those that are, you know, are around in that orbit have figured out what the normie Republicans have sussed on to a long time ago. And that is this guy is no damn good and that he cannot be entrusted as the president of the United States. He is not worthy of the office. Never has been, never will be. Because back to that strength card, strength card in reverse, he doesn't have the moral fortitude for the job of president of the United States. Just he doesn't have it. It's like asking my cat to be the president of the United States. Makes about as much sense. Shadow card. Holy Jesus. Shadow card. We have the Queen of Swords. And I wonder how that debate's going in September with Kamala Harris. She is going to cut him to ribbons, metaphorically speaking. This is a card that's about wisdom and it's about logic and it's about straightforwardness and independence and the ability to communicate clearly, not that mumbling nonsense that he goes through. Someone who is sharp-witted, which Donald Trump unfortunately is not. If he ever was, he has certainly lost that capacity. So what can I tell you? I mean, my overall take on this reading it makes me sad. It really makes me sad. And I know a lot of people, people know that I'm kind of left to center, sometimes more lefter than centerer. But this makes me sad. It really does. And I just, I just feel so much human suffering in this entire thing, right? That hanged man, the fear of letting go, that victim mindset that goes with it. That, again, the universe calling him out for being a coward and, you know, really amplifying that sense of self-doubt that every narcissist lives with 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I mean, I've come to the point where I can barely listen to the man on television. Can you imagine having that constantly thundering in your head every moment that you are conscious? I mean, oh my God, horrible. And, you know, in some respects, the death card is a bit of relief for him because he'll at least be out of the public eye. And although the worrying card for me, if I was Donald Trump, would be that Knight of Sword in reverse position, which just keeps coming up. Now, is Donald Trump aware of this? Yes, he is. That's why we are witnessing this narcissistic ego collapse that is going on, right? This man is truly and honestly suffering, you know, and if you have it in your heart, send a little bit of light and love because he really is a poor suffering bastard and it is only going to get worse and he knows it and he knows it. So that's the reading for today. Once again, if you like this kind of content, by all means, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like on the video. It lets me know you're interested in this kind of content when I'm coming up with my decisions for the channel. And the comment section. If you got questions for the cards, love to hear them. I'm going to start back into doing the you know, five card draws on the political scene for the Senate and the congressional races. I'll probably start those next week. And or we just want to talk tarot. Holy cow, I love talking tarot. Observations, always welcome. Love to hear from you guys. And on that note, I am going to sign off and I will talk to you later. Bye bye for now.